Hi, Charles Bowman here. Well, we're getting to the point where the behind the scenes work will soon be all covered up and then things will seem to quickly change, but it's taken a while to get to this point. Thanks for watching. Well, in this update, I'll be showing you just little bits and pieces of uh, Susie was working on finishing up the um, platform for the bed slash sofa for this side, and this week she'll start on this side. She's also been um, working on the shiplap, getting that painted. And then I told her that I was about to close in these sides, and these four uh, trances have, they really go in. There's very contoured. Other, uh, I think the Promaster is straighter, maybe. Um, so they all have their quirks. And I said, uh, you know what, there's a pro not a problem. We need to have uh, the frame around the windows. And there's a channel I like, Mathers on the Map. They, have, they really frame their windows nice and simply, and that's what we're going to do. And so what Susie came up with is this frame is going to go right around the windows. And then she's got it measured so the wood that's going to be framing will fit in here. And it'll, it's, since it goes in kind of deep, it'll be kind of a nice sill there. You can set a foam there or whatever. So she's already got both both of these done. So um, what I'm about to do is finish the bra putting the bracing on. I got these all cut and numbered. So I'm going to put these all along there. And I think we can get the, these in if I just take out the uprights. And so um, I'm going to get the, I'm going to do that right now. So that's all the that's the last brace to put on for the uh, for all the side walls and uh, again I'll have to take these tall ones out when we put the frame in there and now I need to uh, finally cut the hole for the AC that comes in I have 30 amp service I'm putting in once that's done I'll just cut some holes for the wiring to come through and then I'll be mounting the fuse box and a couple of outlets there and then this can all be closed up and uh, then I'll make Susie happy when we start putting some uh, shiplap. She's already got over half of the ceiling ready for to be put up. So once I add a board on the front and the, and the back, we'll be ready to go. So I keep saying it, but things are going to change a lot very soon. And here's what it's looking like from this direction. So I think Susie's still got maybe one coat of paint on here, but it, it's looking good. Uh, we're not doing fine cabinetry work, but uh, she, she's done a nice job. And I wanted to brought in, even though I can do it by measuring, I'm visual. And so I'll show you a picture in here. What I've got is I needed to mark where this box in, like an open rectangle here, so I know where I can put in, go ahead and cut out for a cord to come through. And uh, yeah, I took the cardboard out so we know a little better what's going on. You just put 12 dents in the transit. I know that's the problem. I've got all these heavy cords for the 110. But no, that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to cover up um, this part first. It's already got the mineral wool in there. And here's where I went crazy with plus nuts. So I've got two, four, six, eight. And this board is going to go in here. And. Um, uh, so I'm going to locate the uh, uh, plus nuts, and then I'm going to be putting um, Reflectix first. And I may come on over, or I may just come there. I think I'll probably come on over with that. We're, uh, Susie said, just go ahead and put it up, and she would paint it, prime it, and paint it. Um, there'll be ship left from here on up, and it's, it'll be painted and all done. So uh, kind of glad, and I'm leaving a gap here because I think I'm going to need 
um, some anchoring for the again for the refrigerator maybe something else so there's no wires behind here so this one will be pretty easy to do and here I so there I've got the reflectix is over the cavities that are filled with mineral wool and then I've got um, I'm gonna fit it around this pillar and it connects over there um, and I know it's nice if you can keep it one continuous thing but it's really kind of hard to do that and I've seen some people I think restoration couple he ran it up to a board like this and had cut it then then we're gonna tape this anyway um, so you know as long as it's sealed somehow and then I'll put the the board on here and um, I decided just to run it underneath and just leave it up there so it's just gonna be here out of the way until I get in here put in my mineral wool and then I've got a board that goes across here and then there will be also um, we'll be doing some pocket holes and doing s some more supports so uh, I have to kind of think about that before I did the final seal here but I think we're good so there we go um, get this baby closed in um, I'm putting in the vertical braces I'm in love with pocket holes and uh, plus nuts and I just got another uh, box of 25 because I have some over here we're fitting some wood along the edge it's kind of trickier because you've got this big space here these big expanse but boy this is a solid structure with all of these pocket holes and I've got this board here once we tie it in Susie is making me a custom piece there it'll be rock solid and uh, I think that will do it. Um, I did end up yanking out the styrofoam. So all the styrofoam came out of the walls. Uh, it really hadn't stuck very well here either. So I'm putting in mineral wool back here. In this whole section, all I had to run was this wire out for um, a 12 volt plug for the refrigerator, the ice cove. Yep. I know. What did you used to do in high school? I was a major red. Okay. I took baton lessons. Okay. But I wasn't cool like the other ones, so eventually I got off of it. Right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, so explain uh, why you cut those custom pieces. Well, we don't want this showing and letting cold air through. And um, so we're going to put this here. And this here, you just kind of have to figure out how to... So I've, well, I've got plus nuts there and then glue, but we also did it just because it finishes it out. All right, Susie, I did not know what you were doing. All of a sudden, here she is walking in with uh, a platform. Go ahead, what did you do here? Well, I made a hole in the board, made a template, and I'm, my idea is to put this here... I'm the longer one coming all the way out here. Right. Yeah. Well. Like the, kind of like a windowsill. Oh. There you go. Heavy. Yeah. Only I made the hole too big, but I think I can work around it, or I can just make another one. It's just right. wood, right? It's just wood. Yeah. Just money. Um, and then she, she's marking where she. Uh, I don't have plus nuts. So I can get those drilled carefully in there because there's a gap, so I can make that work. So, I think we're getting a plan here. Well, it's a pretty day, and a pretty wife. We'll see if it works. It's going to work, yes. You make it, all things work. Good job. Thanks. Since it's inside holding a piece of wood uh, against it so it won't vibrate so much. And um, there's actually some foam, that foam, uh, Noico foam on there. So it's going to help gather. And then I, um, I remember to put tape on the magnetic door hole because some of the shavings will go on that and it's kind of hard to get them off. So here's the last hole. So I'm asking Susie to hold a piece of thin plywood like an eighth and um, just to kind of keep the metal from shaking so much and she, for some reason she doesn't want to put her hand there he wants me to put my hand and hold it like well that. honestly I don't think I'm going to come through the wood I'm going to push that wood away and there and well we'll see and you well, might we be right we got a new one now it'll only come right yeah we got we got one that will actually do the work that other uh, hole saw was obviously for wood only so Susie got me a new Milwaukee a two and a half inch and I decided to go with a, a corded just got a little more oomph I think and I got a member of
Yeah, yeah there's some of the Noiko foam is there. There it went. And we melted it. So, all right. Got that. This is icky mess. This is a uh, Marinko, and it's got a rubber gasket, four holes, and so this will go there. And that will alone will seal it, but I more than likely will put some uh, silicone around there. And then I've got a piece of wood. A piece of wood that's going to go, that will be on the other side, and this will screw into it. Um, and that will hold it. I think this metal is, is thicker than up on the roof. I could be wrong, but it sure took a little work there to get through it. Um, and again, it would have been easier without that foam, but it sure captured all those shavings. So would you say you're doing a neater job than I would do? <laughs> well, actually, I've got this little paintbrush. I'm just going to throw it away. Then I don't have to clean it. There you go. <laughs> Well, it took a little finessing, but we got it in there. I used one-inch machine screws, I think number eight. And um, I actually could have used even longer ones, but we were able to, the nuts are threaded on there nice and tight, and we didn't overdo it. Put some silicone on there. This is 30 amp, kind of a future-proof. I don't plan, I plan on keeping this forever, but somebody might, if I ever do sell it for some reason, a friend of mine said, you know what, future-proof this. Go ahead and put 30 amp, because somebody might, the next owner, if there is a next owner, they might want to put, um, the air conditioner on top and it would need the 30 amp and they would appreciate that I did that so got that done now I need to go in and cut a hole for the wire to come out it's 10 2 with ground heavier that will go to the first ground will go to the ground fault outlet and then all, everything else down river um, will be uh, ground fault protected so got that done now I can close things up on this side and we're getting close to putting shiplap everywhere Woo -hoo. well we need to finish up this video and uh, what'd you do today I helped you. Mainly. And she also measured for the other bed. So we're getting things wound up. It's gonna, everything's going to be enclosed, all the behind the scenes stuff. And uh, I think we're going to be putting some shiplap on this week. We better. Yep. Alrighty. So Thanks for watching. She got it.